Hello everybody. I've got a uh, Arduino uh, do and a bunch of uh, passives and a display and all that other good stuff and uh, I'm sure somebody's probably looking at this and saying well what in the hell is that? Well this uh, uh, ribbon that's going off here is connected to a CB base station and I'm programming the PLL binary input with this um, microcontroller and uh, it's basically just a divide by n uh, inside of the PLL and we're sending it a 1 right now so it's divide by 1 the right two are the hundreds then the next four are the tens and then the next four after that are the ones so we've only got one illuminated and you do have to read this from the right uh, to the left so uh, we basically just have a 1 going into it which is what I've got on the display and um, you know the radio is you don't really hear anything because the PLL on the, at this uh, frequency the uh, range the PLL and the radio just will not lock we're at the very 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 bottom most possible frequency on the radio with the PLL and it's in the current configuration uh, with the current reference and crystals and all that kind of stuff so uh, I forget what what frequency it is it's somewhere down at the very bottom of 26 megahertz but uh, and it, of course it's not locked so we got no receive so if I turn the volume all the way up I do have the radio on a dummy load so you're just not going to hear anything in general really much of anyway and I go up at some point like right there you can hear where it finally locks that's locked and that's where it just it just can't do it anymore it, it's, and it's also very unstable and, and rightfully so uh, that said um, the um, uh, program written on that I wrote on this probably took me a good I don't know four or five hours to write this program um, you know to to you know do the display and all that kind of stuff I was doing the seven segment display and multiplexing it and all that stuff but I said the hell with it I wanted to get more information out of it so I've got the uh, I've got this uh, alpha numeric display um, so anyways if I push the button on the encoder which takes me to channel one uh, and there we, we are on channel one you can't really hear a whole lot but uh, uh, channel one's uh, divider is 91 so we've got uh, a zero the two rightmost two are out so that's a zero and then we have the next four and we have a, a one a zero a zero and a one and and uh, binary that's a nine so then we have a, a 0, a 0, a 0, and a 1, and that's a, a, a binary is a 1. So we have 0, 9, 1, uh, which is, uh, corresponds to 26.965 uh, megahertz on this particular uh, radio's uh, configuration. And hence, dividing by 91, and, uh, you know, all that of the mishmash that goes into how the PLL works, its frequency, reference frequencies, and the frequencies are getting, you know, input to the PLL and all that kind of stuff. Uh, basically, there's the um, the block diagrams of it that somebody uh, put up on the internet. Quite good uh, in the pinouts. So, you know, next question I'm sure somebody will ask is, well, why do it? Well, no real reason. Uh, just uh, to have fun, just to muck around. Um, another note is that uh, I have seen uh, somebody do this. And they didn't use all 10 pins. They only did, I believe, eight or nine of the pins. Um, it's, I did all 10, and it's really overkill. Um, it, it probably shouldn't be, because the using the last pin uh, in the hundreds is uh, is taking this radio almost to 30 megahertz, and that's just this radio will never operate on any frequency unless it's tuned up there, obviously. It just won't operate in that range. It just you can't operate in that range. It, it it just won't it won't do it without the tuning, and then you lose the bottom end. It, this radio only has so much uh, frequency uh, range, you know, as far as its current design and all that. It just it's pretty much meant for 40 channels, and you know, just the fact that I've gotten it to to do this much is uh, uh, is probably just uh, quite good. But that said. Um, Somebody implemented something like this with a uh, with a pick. Um, they have similar features, you know, memory channels, things like that. I haven't really done any programming in this thing. I just have that quick jump on the um, 
uh, on the uh, encoder just for the sake of being able to jump to a known point uh, on the divider. That's the only reason I implemented it. Um, and of course, you know, because this is the CB world we're talking about, there's our static for channel one. If I reset the microcontroller, it goes away because it starts back at one. And, uh, you know, I then have to push the encoder to put me back. So, you know, I know that CB world, people will say, oh, you're not really doing that. It's a part of a trick. Okay. But uh, I could also do this and pull out the uh, uh, PLO uh, off the uh, breadboard. And, uh, you know, the radio will obviously go dead because now it's got no inputs. So, anyways, um, there's an Aussie fellow that did something like this on a microcontroller, a, uh, a, a, a PIC. And it has a fairly uh, rich feature set, you know, programmable channels, things like that. All it does is it replaces the uh, seven-segment display in the channel, the... Uh, the uh, channel, the rotary encoder, the binary encoder that's present in the radio, with a um, with a rotary uh, encoder, you know, with a push button, and uh, you know, people went and copied his uh, his design, which I th find distressing. The fact that he's actually doing it to try to make money, um, not that he's trying. Not, it's not distressing that he's doing it to make money. It's distressing that people copied his work, uh, and then copied it badly. Uh, like removing half the passive components because I've seen his board and his board's quite it's quite uh, densely packed and quite well engineered considering its size I think he did a good job on it uh, the copy is bigger and um, uh, lacking a lot of uh, passive components you know and, and then people are like yeah I bought one of those clones as they call, you know what they call it a clone of whatever this thing he's got and it's unstable, the radio will transmit on the radio, and the radio will, uh, it'll glitch, it'll do weird things. Well, number one, you probably installed it badly. Number two, the, the copy is horrid because it's missing, like, input protection and chokes and things like that. You couldn't possibly try to keep the RF out, especially after they, you know, tune these radios the way they do. Keep the RF out of this ribbon uh, that's going to go, because he does have a short ribbon. Uh, obviously, you would have to to go from the radio up to his uh, up to his board, and it keep the RF out of it without the chokes and the uh, capacitors and the various input filtering that he put on his board. And, and the copy doesn't have any of it. They're just literally taking the data uh, out of the out of the out of the microcontroller and stuffing it into the PLL. Uh, obviously, I am not doing that. That's what all these resistors are here for. Um, you know, I want, I don't want to blow up the, uh, the Arduino and I certainly don't want to blow up the radio. Um, and I certainly want it to work, uh, without, uh, causing the microcontroller to go all weird because I'm getting RF in it. So, yeah, if you're going to copy it, uh, do it right. Anyways, uh, if you find this interesting, uh, you know, shoot me a message and, uh, you know, uh, anybody wants to, uh, you know, to to muck around with it, I, I I don't think I'm really opposed to that. This is a you know sort of a uh, one entertainment for me, and you know to call it continuing education, so that I don't lose my uh, touch on electronics. So you know, anyways, so that's pretty much uh, what I've been up to at least the last couple of days. Uh, you know, after the uh, wisdom teeth pull. Uh, so. Um, you know, I'll probably, uh, you know, muck around with it some more, improve the code, uh, think about how to maybe even miniaturize this thing, because right now, obviously, it's uh, it's on quite a big breadboard, and uh, I'm sure I can do a lot of work to miniaturize this uh, a lot, and, uh, you know, maybe post up the code, uh, which is quite horrible. Uh, it doesn't do the uh, CB channels correctly, because uh, there's some jump arounds in there and things like that. So, anyways, that's pretty much it. Uh... You know, and that said, uh, maybe I'll uh, post an update on uh, up, update on this in a you know a little while, uh, you know, a couple days or a week or whatever after I've had a chance to muck around with it some more, and uh, see what people think. Anyways, thanks for watching.